in a case where the clinical situation dictates it, for example, in a problematic mandibular case, you now have the possibility to design a bone-supported surgical guide in 3Shape Implant Studio. To start, select any tooth in the relevant jaw, and from the Implant Planning menu, choose the Edentulus tab. From here, choose the Surgical Guide option. The rest will be selected automatically. While on the Import Scans step, choose the Bone Supported tab. To import the CT scan, click on the Import Patient CT Scan tab and search for the relevant file. Check it in the Preview window and select if correct. After doing that, click Next. In the Cropping step, to be able to get a usable bone surface model, crop the CBCT scan only to show the relevant jaw. When done, click Next. Move the plane and adjust it if needed, so you'll see all the views properly. When ready, click Next. In the New Bone Surface Model step, the software segments the CBCT. In this step, you'll have two sliders one for the bone density threshold, and the second for hole closing. This is to help you to adjust the bone surface model, so it matches the bone as well as possible. Confirm that you have evaluated the quality of the bone surface model, and move to the next step. In the Nerve Definition step, define the position of the nerves on both sides, starting outside the mental foramen. Adjust their size and positions if needed, and click Next when done. In the Implant Planning step, select the teeth where the implants should be placed, place them and adjust their position. Add anchor pins if needed and move to the next step. In the Surgical Guide step, draw the outline for the guide. It is a recommended best practice for bone-supported surgical guides to not go too deep lingually when drawing the outline. You get a warning if the outline is closer than 2 mm from the nerve. In that case, edit the outline in that area. Also, keep in mind to have the sleeves away from the bone surface area. When, at the Local Guide Offset substep, you have the possibility to use the tools to paint the areas on the surface model where the bone might protrude through the guide. The software will create the offset around those specific areas. Further substeps let you add bars, windows, and ID tags if needed. When you're satisfied with the guide design, click Next. Review the surgical report, approve the implant planning, and surgical guide design. Now you know how to create a bone supported surgical guide in Implant Studio. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.